maybe because of the openness of, of, of the internet and some other reasons as well, I'm sure, uh, we face a huge security problem here. Uh, the, lately, we've seen these uh, attacks, anonymous, you know, global, uh, uh, net, that, that show that the, the dark side hackers can pretty much break anything at will, whether it's Sony or the CIA, right? And you know, there's um, uh, problems with cyber thieves you know, hitting banks successfully, and there's, uh, you know, God knows what the cyber warriors for big countries are, are, are doing and planning there. Uh, how, how tough is this problem here, and, 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 and what can we do? Uh, the, the people who are attacked basically you know, say, well, you're next, because you know, even though they might have been uh, fingered for this vulnerability or that vulnerability, it's, it seems that no one is impervious to, the, to these attacks now, and the, the emperor has new clothes when it comes to security. So this problem is fundamental, and it will be there with us forever. So this issue of the trade-off between sharing and security is very old. And any time you build, the, the value of the network is tied up with its openness, and it's any to any nature. And along with good packets, we'll go bad packets. Uh, the, the, in an ideal world, you'd keep it completely open and com completely any to any, but the fact is there are bad actors, and so now you have to protect against those. It nope. seems to be getting worse, though. I mean, the, at what point will you know, uh, we be forced, or will we be forced, to take measures to clamp down on, on, on the openness now. If, if no one can be assured that their operations will continue, if the banks can't protect our money, I think what, change, what do we do? Yeah, the change of state, Stephen, that's happened is that in the past, it used to be people, uh, hackers actually breaking into systems just for bravado. And now you have organized, uh, in some cases, uh, countries, and in some cases, organized groups that are going after money uh, and maybe information. And that's a change of state, but I think, uh, we will perpetually be in a state where uh, the defenses become more sophisticated and the attackers become more sophisticated, and it's, it's, it's war, essentially. Right, right. Well, and you're on the front it, lines, Paul. What, what do you say? And it won't end, because it's the old line about you rob banks, because that's where money is, and people have figured that out, so they're <laughs> going to go. This is a techno technology as a tool. It can be used for good or bad, mostly good. Mm. We see some bad. There are lots of technologies that we now wake up every day with and live with for good or bad, but we don't lose endless sleep, so nuclear power is one, and both for good and bad, and, and you know, a whole generation woke up every day for a long time thinking the world might end, and, and we got to a point right, where right. fear, stability, we're gonna do the same thing for sure on the internet, and the security model will change. I think what's happened is the attackers, the bad guys, have moved quicker because they saw a chance to profit with their business model, completely mm -hmm. nefarious, and the security model's changing. We're seeing that today. The traditional security model was, was you know, go into your home and build a moat and secure it. Um, it's really not the best place to secure your home. If there are bad guys are at the back door already, you're in trouble. The models are now moving to broadly distributed security. So we saw, you may remember the 4th of July attacks two years ago that took down a number of US federal sites. They didn't take down all of them. The traffic actually all came from one country in Asia. Um, Which in, country would that be? Uh, it emanated from machines in South Korea. It wasn't controlled from there. Right. And for certain sites, in fact, the ones that we protected, federal government sites that didn't go down, all the traffic was stopped there, never left the frontier, if you will. Mm. So there are new security models that are evolving that can handle some of the new kinds of threats. There is no silver bullet. I absolutely agree with Pradeep. We're not going to end it. But we're just going to have a continuing arms race, and people will learn how to secure things. I do think on the state level, we've moved from this fear of nuclear war, which hasn't gone away, to the fear of, of a cyber war. And that is of a, obviously of a scale that goes beyond business mm. to deal with. And we've seen that in well, a couple of cases already.